my youtube channel zerida here thank you for stopping by so in this video i'll be teaching you how to, i build my axe organizer nah, nah, that's the one so have you got those axe laying follow or lying follow which one should we go for now well if you've got any hats lying follow and then things get damaged and you're wondering how to keep them safe and secure yeah so this video i'll show you how to build an axe organizer it's very simple before we get started please if you're new, would you be kind to just subscribe to this YouTube channel? It's going to mean so much to me. All right, thank you. So let's get started. <laughs> so I'm going to work with my PVC pipe. But in case you don't have access to PVC pipe, you could just work with a stick or anything. So my PVC pipe is measuring 22 inch. Like I said, you could work with a stick or maybe a wood. Okay, wood and stick is the same thing, like a metal or something. So I'm going to grab my ribbon to measure a one inch, one inch ribbon. And I'm just going to cover my PVC pipe. Now, this step is completely not important. I'm doing this because I don't want it obvious to everybody that everyone who comes around to see it that I made use of a PVC pipe. So I cut out a 66 inch of ribbon. And I'm just going to wrap it around the PVC pipe. So for the first wrapping to stay, I'm going to have to apply glue. That's a B6000 glue I'm using right there. I'm going to apply generously on the pipe. And also a little bit of it on the tip of my ribbon. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to be wrapping my PVC pipe. Now, I need you to pay attention to how I wrapped it if you want to go with this process. So, um, I'm going to be wrapping it in a slant format kind of thing. Like, I don't know, wrapping it straight, straight. Can you see? Like, a part of it is covering like that. That's just how I'm going to continue wrapping it like that all the way to the end. Okay, so I realized that my 66 inch ribbon that I cut out wasn't enough. So I, I got to the end of the one I cut out. So I'm going to, just going to glue it to keep that one secure. And I have to cut out another inch. I must have cut out like some 12 inch or so. Okay, yeah, like 16 inch. Just cut it out and then I'll apply glue again. So that's going to keep the previous ribbon and the ribbon i'm going to join to it glued together together yeah just like that so next i'll continue with my wrapping So I'm closer to the end and just like I did in the first process, I'm going to apply glue to my ribbon and just wrap it round. So that way my ribbon is glued to my previous part. Check out that. I know you will. So for the next thing, I'm just going to pick my lighter and then bond the edges of the ribbon so it doesn't lose out itself. I don't know why that lighter wasn't coming on at that point. <laughs> So can you see that? So any parts I feel left out too, I'm just going to burn it to my lighter. Just a little bit though, so you don't burn off the ribbon. So next, I'm going to pick a rope. Uh, I'm working with this rope which I use for spreading cloth, where you can work with whatever rope that's suits. In fact, you can even work with the ribbon or a bias. But I just felt this will be much more perfect to what I want to do. Now, for this process, if you are working with a wood or a metal that doesn't have an opening, all you just is just tied like this, yeah, exactly like this. But me, I don't want to go with the time, so I'm going to pass in the rope into the PVC pipe. Now, the rope I measured that there must have been measuring like 120 inch there, but I realized it was too long for what I wanted to do with what I wanted to do with it. So I had to cut it out. And I think overall, I reduced the rope to something around. Some 60 something inch. Yeah, so okay, I measured it here. Just so, yeah, around some 69 inches. Yeah, that's perfect. So I reduce the rope. So total rope I use is 69 inches. But if you are using a stick and you're just tying it at the tip, you won't be leading up to that. I'm just going to give it like a good tie, knot it like trash to be sure it secured. 
Okay, so that's good. Now I also don't want this tiny showing, so we just go to pull it so it can be inside a PVC pipe. Do you see that? Yep, yep, yep. So what we need to jump. Alright, so that's it. That's it. Can you see that? It's looking like a bow and arrow kind of thing now. So next I'm going to pick my rope again. Another rope now and I'm cutting out like 36 inch. Now can you see that this end is loose? I actually do not want to work with the rope as it is because I feel it's going to be too much. So I just unraveled the twist and then I just picked out one. You know it's not compulsory to go with exactly this kind of rope. So now I just folded the tip of the rope into like some 5 inch. Can you see that? And then I'm going to pass it under the pipe. Bring it out. I trust you get what I'm doing. Can you see that now? So now the two rope that I have now, I'll take it over and just tie together. Once I'm done with this now, I'm also going to repeat this same process in the middle of the PVC pipe and towards the end of the PVC pipe. Do you get that? So I put it there and there. So now this is it. I'm true. So can you see what I did now? Add three ropes and came down. So next I'm grabbing my peg. You can work with a peg or a binder clip. So I'm going to grab my heart and I'm just going to clip the rope down to the heart. Do you get that? So after the same process, I'm going to clip clip the rope with the hearts together. So that's just what I'm going to do for all my hearts. You could, you could do this for your, your hearts, your cups, your barrettes, your baseball cup, any other thing that looks like a cup that you have, you could just work with. You can, you can have it the nice like this. So next, I'm just going to hang my bag in between. So that's it. I'm okay. I have one more cup left. So that's it. Very easy. That's how I beat my hat organizer. Alright, thank you so much for watching that video. I'm sure you enjoyed it. If you are yet to subscribe, please do that. And then, would you also be kind enough to share this video amongst your friends, family members, and loved ones? I would deeply appreciate it. Thank you so much. And you can connect with me on my social media handles for Instagram, it's the reader, Facebook, the reader, Twitter, the reader gives. Alright, thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.